two bread, a baguette. Right. So you bought, you know, you bought a whole loaf and you only ate half of it. And the next day, you it know, is rock hard. I right. mean, you can hit a baseball with it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but don't throw it out. Again, this is this is something interesting I learned here. So what you do is you get yourself a nice big piece of foil, and I understand you have a very fancy sink down here. So I'm going to come yes, and do this. Yes, exactly. I'll Ready? come with you for backup in case fancy. it doesn't work. Oh, there you go. So you get a <laughs> cold water. Oh, I love this. Look, you're dousing it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Ooh, she bathes good the baguette. Good faucet. Okay, so then you wrap it up very tightly in foil. Okay. And um, I'm surprised at how much liquid you put on that. I mean, you doused it. I did. It, it was took fun. It for a bath. Yes, I did. Okay, so then it goes now. You put it in a cold oven. You start it cold. Cold oven. And you turn it to 300. And let it heat up slow. And then you let it heat for 12 to 15 minutes. And we've got some right here. You saw how hard that was. It was hard as a rock. Well, this was its twin brother here. So we'll show you what this looks like. Um, and then, look at this. Feel that. Oh, my God. Now, but at this point, it's not a baguette anymore, right? Right. OK. So now, so now what you do, and we're, we're, we're not going to do it, but it works. I, I did it yesterday. Right, right, right. You put it back in the oven for five minutes, uncovered, uncovered to make it crunchy again. And it's just back to where it was. Brilliant! Yes. All right, moving along. Now, moldy cheese. You know, you see this, you see it in your refrigerator, you're like, ooh, that's scary, you know, I'm throwing this out. Now, in certain cases, yes, you must throw it out. If yeah. it's a, a wet cheese, like a cottage cheese or ricotta. It'll it, work its way all the yeah, way through. It will, or even if it's grated cheese, see that little bit? Because it can It'll go It'll go through. everywhere without. It will, it, sliced it cheese, it. unfortunately. <clears throat> But if you have a big wedge, like um, a semi-soft or a hard cheese, like a Parmesan or a cheddar or a Colby or a Swiss with not too many holes, and if you just have it in one area, what you can do is just cut it. You have to get an inch away. You won't be able to save the whole cheese, but you can save this but part save of it. save a huge portion. Yes. However, you have to keep in mind when you're cutting it that um, now you've got the mold. C keep away from the mold with your knife. Right. So you don't want to ever touch the mold because then you go chop. You know. Right. Uh, That's why you're keeping an inch away. Right. right. And the other thing is to rewrap your cheese. People tend to wrap it in plastic or whatever they wrap it in and keep using the same wrapper. Don't do that. Change the wrapping because that will help to, to and I always, prevent that. I always put mine in, in something breathable, parchment yes, paper, something yes, porous, excellent. because cheese is alive. Yes, yeah. yes. It's uh, one of those things. So anyway, hopefully people will save a little more. I think you just saved a bundle. Okay.